Hi, my name is Joanna Castro, and I was born on December 27, 1991, in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and I'm making this short video today to reveal a few of the per personality traits that form me as an individual. My mom was not a very strict mom. She didn't force us to go to school. So unfortunately, when I was younger, I was very behind in education. Um, when I was in second grade, I could barely read. I'd have to sound out every single word. Um, my grandparents had put me in a bunch of extra tutoring to get me some help. And by the end of second grade, I was able to read and I became one of the best readers in my class. And I think at that point, that that kind of mark, that was a big turning point for me because I went from being one of the dumb kids in the class to being one of the smarter kids. And my grades picked up dramatically. After my mom's death, um, we came to live with my grandparents, and that was definitely a transitional stage for me and my sister. It was a very different lifestyle. Um, my grandparents, they parented very different than my mom. With my mom, we were used to doing whatever we wanted. If we didn't want to go to school, we didn't have to. Um, we pretty much ate whenever we ate whatever, whatever's there, you know. Um, then when we come to live with my grandparents, it's completely different. They have rules. We have to go to school. We have no choice. We have to do our homework. We have to, we had to clean. We had to, you know, eat what they made. We didn't have a choice. If we didn't want it, then we didn't get to eat. Um, they were very strict. Um, we started going to church every Sunday. And it was very different. Um, me and my sister, I guess, you know, we liked it. Um, we liked the changes, you know, the stability, really, I guess. And then my grandparents asked if they could adopt us, and so we said yes. So I guess if officially my grandma is my mom and my grandpa is my dad. And my name went from Joanna... Gigama to Joanna Cash. I would say my rebellion stage for adolescence um, would definitely have to be my senior year in high school. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten myself into that much trouble that I did that year. Um, actually, I, I know I haven't. I got arrested that year with my with a group of friends and that cost me a lot. Um I lost a lot of scholarships that I was going to get um because of it. I um it was hard my you know I disappointed my family, I disappointed myself and I can honestly say I regret the decisions I did make and I know I can't change them. Um, I graduated early, 
I graduated in January, or I guess I graduated in December, and I worked for the rest of the semester, for the end of the school year, and I went off to Baylor for my freshman year of college. That was definitely a crisis that I had to overcome, and it definitely changed my way of thinking. Um, right now, currently, I believe I would probably be in the identity achievement stage in according to Marcia's identity statuses. Um, I go to LCU, and I'm in pre-nursing. Um, I want to be a nurse. Um, right now, I work as a CNA at two different nursing homes. And I really enjoy working with people. Um, going through, getting into all that trouble definitely influenced the stuff I do today. Like, I, I don't party. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. Um, I don't want to get in trouble like that. Um, you know, I have to, I work a lot. Um, it's just, you know, I live on my own. I have responsibilities. Um, and it's definitely a challenge going to school, being a full-time student, and having two jobs. But, you know, in the end, um, I know I won't regret it. And I know in the end, it will help me out a lot if I do get through all this. So, I would definitely say, um, going through all that definitely helped develop me as a the person that I am today.